hard. All right, so I, yeah, this is our last year doing the conference. Um, tears. Uh, yeah. But what a great conference we had today. It was incredible. Talk, I know your talk was amazing. I loved every second of it. Um, it made me uncomfortable for many seconds of it, but um, with the love. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about some of the most memorable moments from the past couple of years. This is our fifth year. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through the history of the conference so we could just kind of have a nice capstone um, to the last five years of the event. Uh, but bef before I do that, I kind of wanted to get an idea of how many people have been to um, how many of our events. So if anybody could stand up that has been to the event for two, two different times, two different events, two or more. All right, great. This is incredible. All right, so sit down if you have uh, not been to three or more. If you've been to three or more, stay standing. Oh, it's six. Uh, four or more. And then who has been to all five? All right, let's give a round of applause to these people. So just as a little bit of history, the, the meetup was actually started as, or the conference was started from the Nebraska JavaScript meetup, which was found in 2009. That's been going 10 years, 100 events, 50 different speakers. Uh, I actually had the privilege of speaking about this meetup at the White House uh, back when that was an honor. Um, <laughs> and, so yeah, uh, five years we always decided to run a conference. Uh, started in 2015. Our sort of some of the goals that we had is we wanted to be international. We wanted international speakers to fly in every time, um, so we could get a uh, wider uh, variety of voices. We wanted to be progressive. Uh, we wanted to be affordable, and we wanted to be organized through the community. Um, and we have done that through um, dis discounts for underrepresented groups, uh, sponsored tickets, student pricing, early bird pricing. I'm really, I'm really proud of the pricing model that we've had for our conference. Um, and it's been really great. And one of the one of the really high, one of the big highlights for me uh, for the conference has been our speakers, uh, really incredible. And over five years, we've had forty six different speakers, um, really great. In two thousand fifteen, we've had a different theme every time, which was way more work than we probably should have put into it, but we did. Uh, 2015 was a safari theme, it was great. 2016, we had trains at the Durham Museum. 2017, we did Magic at the Scottish Rite Cathedral, which was a beautiful theater. Uh, 2018, we had it at the Holland Performing Arts Center. Uh, we did a space theme, that was awesome. Um, and then 2019, we did Good Life Aquatic, which is the movie that everyone has seen in the show. <laughs> um, really incredible. Uh, I'm really proud that we've had 39% of our speakers uh, non-white males, which is great. Diversity, yes, great, awesome. Um, and maybe you can spot a pattern in the keynotes, the closing keynotes that we've had at our conference. The first year we had Ethan Markow, which was incredible. Um, and yeah, maybe you can spot a pattern there. <laughs> All the talks that we've had at the at the conference are on the Nebraska JS YouTube channel, so you can check that out. It's really great content. Another thing I really liked is the Minivan JS. We picked speakers up from the uh, airport, which is kind of a nice service. Uh, sometimes it's gone poorly, and sometimes it's gone really well. Um, so most, mostly it goes well. It's, yeah, all right, five stars on our lip. All right, great. Um, another great thing was Nick's amazing costume. He puts in a ton of work in for his costume. So yeah. That uh, our, the organizers' families have sort of grown up with the conference. We've gotten more kids uh, inside of our families, and our families have sort of grown with the conference, which is just kind of neat to see. Every year, uh, I've sort of championed the tampon club, which is um, sanitary napkins in the in the wet, in the restrooms. Um, and so every year, I go to Target and buy a big bulk thing of tampons, uh, and that's not embarrassing for me because why should it be? Yeah. Uh, in 2015, we had Lily, which was incredible. Derek's daughter did a talk about how she learned to program, and she did this amazing joke. She said, I like coding because I like to make apps. I don't like coding because of all the typing. <laughs> incredible. She was awesome. Uh, really powerful moment in 2015 with Julia Smith. 
uh, unfortunately very tragic, uh, tragically still relevant uh, mass shootings uh, visualization using SNAP SVG. If you haven't seen that talk, I would highly recommend it. Uh, and really, one of the best byproducts that I've seen from the conference is the tweets that we see from speakers and attendees. Uh, we've really sort of seen a, a lot of great feedback from people. Um, we showcase our uh, town to visiting speakers and visiting people that come in to see the conference, and this is just, it's just really, really great to see. In 2016, we had Omaha Girls Who Code, uh, which was a great lunchtime talk. These amazing women came up and spoke about uh, a problem that they solved and how they, how they solved it. It was great. 2016, a couple, just a sampling, I'll put these slides online. 2016, there's just a sampling of the really great tweets. Uh, and then also in 2016, we had a sort of an unfortunate thing happen. Um, so yeah, I got it. We got a tweet. Sorry, it's a little emotional. Um, ah, okay. So we got a tweet from somebody that's, that called our Nebraska JS oriented group a bunch of punk feminists. And so and, uh, I was just feeling kind of, you know, uh, like I should ignore it because it wasn't a big deal. But I decided to post this in a response. And I said, uh, someone called the rest of you, a bunch of punk this. <laughs> you're damn right, buddy. Also, uh, you're blocked. Um, and unfortunately, that man was a white supremacist. And I, we ended up getting, our organizers ended up getting a bunch of death threats. And uh, it was a hard couple months. <laughs> Um, and this tweet sort of brought us out of that dark period. Um, so thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> I almost quit Twitter after this. It was uh, it was a hard time. <laughs> um, so in in addition to all these four things, uh, I want to also say that. We're goddamn badasses. <laughs> In 2017, we came back with a great event. Uh, this was at the Scottish Rite. This is what it looks like on the stage. Really incredible view. It's amazing. Uh, Nick did this really awesome uh, walkout sequence. <laughs> The fog machine and a nice like little orb. We actually got that orb to make fun of that Trump thing where they all did like the weird <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Anyway, no one knew that. Anyway, um, now you all know that. It was really great to see people starting to send like entire groups of students. Um, this group was sponsored, and they all got student tickets. It was it was great to see. Uh, there's just a small sampling of um, some great tweets that we saw in 2017. This is maybe the best tweet. That I have, that we have received as an organization group, um, it really meant a lot. Uh, and it's from Kim Creighton, our keynote speaker in 2017. Uh, it's one thing for organizers to say that they are welcoming and two underrepresented and marginalized attendees, and quite another to demonstrate it. And this team has done it. Um, so yeah, that was that was really meaningful uh, for all our hard work um, to see that from Kim because she is awesome. Uh, 2018, I love this t-shirt that Nick was wearing on this. It's just JavaScript. Ah, can we use TypeScript? Anyway, uh, 2018, here's some of the feedback we got from this. And I really love that one of our former speakers, Patrick Kettner, came back in 2018. Even though he wasn't a speaker, he came back to visit. He paid with his own money to fly into town. Um, and he still wears his t-shirt to this day to other conferences. It's just really nice to see. Um, and so I would just like to close out just by saying thank you to everyone. Um, and first off, I would just maybe like to thank our sponsors and maybe Nick can take care of that for me. Yeah, so uh, we would not be able to do this without the help that we get from the community. And a big part of that is the sponsors that we've had every year. We've had amazing sponsors every single year. Uh, but I really want to highlight the ones that we had this year in 2019. Uh, so, first off, just thank you to Connectaha, a new conference in Omaha uh, that is um, multi-track and it's multi-language. Uh, it's not just focused on JavaScript, but there is JavaScript there. Uh, so thank you to Connectaha.
Thank you to Object Partners. Uh, they're a wonderful company here in Omaha uh, and in other places, uh, but they've been a big part of the Omaha community uh, since they, they came in here. And so, very, very big thank you to them. <laughs> Tremify, thank you so much for sponsoring this year. Uh, it's been a really big help to us. You were the first to sponsor, uh, to sponsor us this year. You just jumped right on it, and we really appreciate it. Uh, it's just the, the amount of support that we get right out of the bat when we announce this is great. So, thank you. Flywheel, uh, they're a great company, they're a lot of fun, uh, a lot of great flywheelers here, uh, great flywheel organizers, and uh, just thank you, thank you to Flywheel for, for believing in us. Now, if you look at our website, and you look at the way things are designed, and you look at these amazing posters around the room, uh, that was all John Henry Miller. Uh, John, are you still here? <coughs> didn't see him, but he did all of that, uh, and just thank you very much to, to John Henry for putting together an amazing theme for us this year. Uh, Sightman, uh, they have sponsored us all five years. I think they're the only company to do that. Uh, so big thanks to them. They also uh, have been recording uh, the TalkScript podcast here over in the registration room and green room, uh, talking to speakers. And uh, so look out for those episodes. They'll be coming out at TalkScript.fm. Thank you, Sightman. Midland University Code, thank you so much for sponsoring us again this year. Uh, it's really great having you uh, believe in us and uh, send students to us as well. So thank you, Midland. <laughs> and finally, Heroku. Uh, they are a first-time sponsor this year and uh, really helped us out coming in uh, and uh, sponsoring us and uh, just believing in us. And it's great having uh, companies that, that don't have a local presence here also wanting to contribute to this community and to this event. Thank you, Heroku. And just one more shout out to all the amazing speakers that we had today. They did an incredible job. Uh, it was really enjoyable uh, to listen to all the talks, and I think it's one of our best years for sure. Um, so another round of applause for the speakers. the second to last slide, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, just one more for the volunteers and the organizers today. The, we don't make any money from this. It's all just volunteer stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you to all everyone that's volunteered in any of the five years and our organizers, uh, everyone that's helped. Thank you very much. out and just say uh, we're just so grateful to everyone that supported our conference uh, and the city of Omaha and just Nebraska in general. Uh, we really brought a lot of people together with this wonderful Oasis of a City and we've showcased Omaha to the world um, and you guys all made that possible. So uh, just please keep being excellent to each other. Thank you.